Hi friends, it's Faith from Paris Antero. I hope everyone is well. Alright, we're throwing down cards for the month of October. We've already done Libra. So, y'all got your stuff done. Who's going to be next? Well, hmm, I don't know. You see, I already shuffled these. I have no idea what order they're in. We'll see who's next. Okay. Aries. Let's see what the universe has to say for Aries for the month of October. Universe Source and Spirits. Can I get any messages that you have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of October 2020? Help me be clear and accurate. And give Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus messages for their highest good and their most positive spiritual path. Thank you, Source. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, if this resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it does not resonate, that's okay too. Check your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign readings. You might find something that may resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid and all things can maybe vice versa. It might play out from the perspective of a cross watcher and our dear friends, the cross watchers are always welcome here too. That being said, take with you what resonates, leave what does not. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Okay, fair enough. All right, Aries, why are you here? Page of Swords reverse. Well, you're not talking to somebody. There's no communication going on with somebody right now. Either they're not talking to you or you're not talking to them. All right. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Six of Swords. One or the other of you has already moved on from this. And is fixing to maybe make a return. Maybe you feel like you want to return to the situation. Maybe you think you feel like they might want to. Okay. Well, what do you think of them? Ace of Cups in the reverse. You possibly think that maybe they've already lost the feels for it. And that there's no real possibility for a new start, maybe? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. What do you want from them? Eight of Wands. You want to talk. Okay. You want communication. You want fast communication. Okay. Hmm. Well, if you're the one not talking, just saying, mm. just saying. <sighs> the rain again. Okay. How do they feel about you? Four of Cups reversed. All right. Possibly they feel like you ignored the cup that you they tried to hand you. Yeah. You ignored the cup that they tried to hand you. Possibly. Okay. What do they think of you? Three of Cups. I'm hearing friend zone. They think of you as a very good friend. They may want to get together as a friend, possibly. What do they want from you? Seven of Pentacles reversed. Mm. Let's throw a clarifier on that. Possibly someone was impatient with the connection in the past and huh. 
Huh. This may require patience. All right, what's the obstacle? Nine of Swords in the reverse. Someone's just trying to keep this out of their head and out of their thought process. Someone's trying to move on from it and trying not to think about it, trying not to deal with it. Possible resolution. Eight of Cups moving on all together. Walk in the path and continuing to walk. Aries and making no sense. Either you do or you don't. Aries, you are not one at all to be wishy-washy about anything. You're the doers of the zodiac. Very often without thinking. So if you're if you're putting thought process into something that's amazing, I'm just saying, I'm not trying to blast you. I'm just saying you're the doers. You see what you want, you know what you want, you go after it, you get it. And when you walk away from something, you walk and you keep walking. And that's okay. Perfectly fine. We're going to save the potential outcome for the end. Let's get some clarity. Universe, source, and spirit. Can I get some clarity on the cards and the table for my Aries friends, please? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, October 2020. I already card come out. Two of Swords. Another Swords card. Blindfolds are coming off. It's decision time. You're really chewing on this, Aries. Wow. Okay. This is not an easy decision for you. This is like you're damned if you do and you're damned if you do. <laughs> know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter which way you swing those swords. Something's going to cut and something's going to hurt, or at least in your head, that's where you're at. It doesn't matter which sword I use, somebody's going to get hurt here. And you just don't want it to be you. That's the sense I'm getting from this right now. All right. Why is the Six of Swords reversed here for Aries? Devil reversed. Well, the shadow side reversed. It's the devil card either way. It's just in this particular, in the witch's tarot, it is the shadow side. It's in the reverse. You feel like you want to return, but you're disconnected. The connection isn't as strong as it used to be, possibly. It's still there, but it's fading. There's potentially some toxic energy involved in this connection, maybe. Some obsessive energy, possibly. Not necessarily on your part. Possibly on the other party's part. Okay. Page of Wands reversed. I don't see you doing anything about it. But the thoughts there. That's skittish energy. It's a very skittish energy. Aries, you're not skittish. If you're anything, you are not skittish. This is very strange. Probably has a lot to do with Mars retrograde. It may be messing with you a little bit. Huh. Okay. All right. Why is it Ace of Cups reversed here? Eight of Pentacles reversed, Three of Wands reversed. You think they've lost the, the feels. They don't have a full cup for you anymore. 
They've done, they're not putting work into it. They're not putting energy into it. They, they're no longer waiting. This is your thought process. This might be why the skittish energy and that if I'm damned if I'm do, if I'm damned if I do. <laughs> no matter what sword I swing, this is probably going to hurt. Okay. All right. All right. Why is the Eight of Wands here? For what areas wants of the other person? Hanged man in the upright came out. You want to talk this out. You want resolution to the conflict. You want to get cut down out of the hang, you know, out of the gallows. Six of Wands in the upright. You want the triumphant return. Do you want to return to them? Or you want them to return to you? You want resolution with this. There's that damn skittish energy. All right, okay, all right. Why is the Four of Cups reversed here for how the other person feels about Aries? Page of Cups reversed. Another reverse page, another lack of communication. They feel like you ignored their cup. They feel like maybe you even dumped their cup. And communication stopped here. They feel like you lost feelings. Like, mirroring each other a little bit here. A little bit. A little bit of similar energies here. I'm not going to beat that card to death. Why is the Three of Cups here for what the other person thinks of Aries? Why is the Three of Cups here? Three of Cups reversed. If this ain't screaming friend zone, I don't know what ain't. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, maybe we could sit down, have lunch, maybe get a drink or two, reminisce. But as for the, the reunion that you might think you want to happen, nah. <laughs> nah, that's where they're at right now. Nah. We be friends, but that's all it's gonna be. Because you already dumped my cup once, and no, uh, no, and don't, now mind you, mind you, all things can be vice versa. I don't know who did what to who, and I'm not here to point fingers. I'm just reading cards, guys. Just reading cards. Somebody's cups got dumped. When cups get dumped, hearts get broke. This is what it is. It's part of the journey. And if you can make it through an entire soul's journey without getting your heart broke, you are a special kind of blessed, let me tell you. Special kind of blessed. Mine's held together with duct tape and chicken wire. I don't think I could... I don't think mine could get broke much more. Probably use mine as a basketball and shoot hoops with it. Seriously. Alright, why is the Seven of Pentacles reversed here for the other person wants of Aries? Seven of Pentacles reversed. Page of Pentacles. Hmm. And again, I don't know who did what to who. I wasn't there. I was reading cards. But somebody feels like they're due an apology. 
and they ain't gonna wait around for it for very long. I ain't gonna throw nothing else on that. Why is Nine of Swords reversed here for the conflict and this connection? You know, the Nine of Swords in the reverse can mean one of two things. It means you're not putting any thought into it at all and you're just putting it out of your head and moving on with your life or you're bat poop bonkers, one of the two. Why is Nine of Swords reversed here? You want to talk. Seven of Cups reversed. One more. Can I get one more? One more, one more, one more. Thank you. There was a lot of confusing feelings. And someone is still holding on to those confusing feelings. I don't think anybody put it out of their head at all. I think it was held on to for dear life. Throw one more on that, please. One more. Two of cups. Wow. Nobody lost the feels for nothing. And that's the problem in this connection. Currently in this moment right now, there's still very deep feelings here. As hard as y'all tried to disconnect from it and forget it, still haunt you. Still haunt you. I think it still haunts both of you to a degree. Somebody wants a big fat apology. Somebody wants to return. Somebody knows they're not returning without that apology. It's getting up the gumption and letting loose of that skittish energy, which I still, I'm astounded by it because Aries ain't skittish about nothing. They aren't. They will run across a bed of hot coals to jump off a cliff. They're not skittish about anything. That's what I love about Aries. I do. That's what I absolutely love about you guys. You're just, you're nuts. It's great. You're crazy. And I have Aries friends. I do. And I tell them to their faces, you guys are nuts. Absolutely nuts. All right. Why is this eight of cups here? That's an answer. Wow. Okay. The moon reversed. Oh, wow. Possible resolution, Eight of Cups, Moon Reversed, Ten of Wands Reversed. One more. King of Swords. Hmm. 
I think y'all need to like not talk and just kind of keep distance for a minute still. Just judging by this because as much as that burden needs to be released, it ain't time yet. It's not time yet. Neither one of you are in an energetic place for honest conversation at this point. I don't see it right now. Not in this moon cycle anyway. And uh, full moons in a week or so. Probably a little less, right? Yeah. I think, wait, it's coming up in a couple of days, isn't it? It might be right now. I don't know. Time is fluid. Something about this moon. It's something with the moon. I'll throw one more on that. But the honest conversation needs to take place. I think it's this weekend, the next full moon. Okay, it gave me two. Yep. Chair reversed, nine of pentacles. You need to... Gain independence from this before you can even consider closing that gap again. Because you're still energetically linked. You're still all up in each other's energetic crap. But you're not ready to have the conversation yet. You need to not have the conversation yet. You're not ready to release those burdens. And some of you may not be ready for truths that'll be illuminated. And yet some of you may have to prepare yourself for a gigantic slap in the face with whatever truths need to be spoken. And y'all just ain't ready. Okay. Possible outcome. Five of Wands. Okay, so this is the card. This is going to be the outcome if you don't do what this tells you to do. <laughs> Confrontation. It's going to be a gargantuan blow up if you try to deal with this within the month of October. But you do you. Don't t let me tell you how to live. I'm just reading cards. You do you. Please. I insist. Do you. Let's get some advice. Justice in the reverse. Page of Cups in the upright. Absolutely. Until that playing field is leveled, don't try to offer the cup. It's just not level yet. Wait for this to flip back over the way it should be before you do that. Okay? The High Priest in the reverse and the Four of Cups in the reverse. There's a lesson to be learned here. It is not up to me to tell you what that lesson is because it is not going to be the same for any two people. It is up to you to figure out what the lesson is here and to process it and to learn from it because that's what you're supposed to be doing when you're here. It's the steps of soul evolution. And once you've figured out what that lesson is, don't ignore it. Don't pass this off as nothing. Okay? Because this is something huge. Okay? Aries, my friends, I love you guys. You guys have 
always been huge supporters of us here at the channel. I appreciate you wholeheartedly. Um, as for personal readings, if any of you have put in for a personal reading, um, a lot of things were going to the spam folder in the email and I did not realize it. So I'm still sorting through, oh my gosh, why did this end up in spam? So if you want to, if you want a reading, email, email me again and I'll make sure to check all the folders multiple times a day so I don't miss anything. Anyway, thank you. Be blessed. Take care of yourself. Be kind to yourself. Take care of and be kind to each other. And I'll catch you guys in a couple of weeks for either the mid-month October or the November reads. It depends on if the schedule kind of levels off or not because we're still kind of in limbo of different things, aspects of my personal life right now. So, I'm getting to it. We're getting the channel back on track to where it should be. So, again... I will see you guys for the weekend top and bottom of the deck on Friday. Okay? Be blessed. Love you. Have a good one.